Hi, I'm Kirsten Lamb, and this is my Pawtucket, Rhode Island studio. So in my studio, there's a range of different things. I try to keep a kind of range of hand-drawn things and printed things. I work with um, acrylic gouache as well as watercolor and acrylic. Um, the watercolor tends to be only on um, paper works, but the acrylic and acrylic gouache goes into the larger work. These are some of my unfinished work that I am making right now. They're fairly large. You can see as I step back. That's my wall and um, vase for scale there. I do love to have a couple of fake flowers around even in the middle of winter. And uh, these two pieces are the ones that I'm gonna kind of zoom in on. They're about uh, two thirds painted right now but you can still see the kind of print through them. They were collaged on the computer as well. And you can see the ground is slowly but surely getting painted in acrylic and acrylic gouache with some varnish layers. It'll be about, I wanna say 95% painted when I'm finished. And here's something fun to see, um, the sources of the imagery. I'm really interested in lionizing stitchery by making it billboard size and kind of preserving what's going on in this work in a new and different scale in this kind of collage format, translating it to painting as a kind of act of love. And so you can see here the poppies are getting kind of rehashed and resorted here. I did a lot of work with um, Dutch Still Life earlier as a painter, and I feel like this is my kind of love letter to uh, Still Life and Stitchery combined with a kind of conversation with French wallpaper. Just to give you an idea of how I start these paintings and how I work on them, this is a piece that's just about finished that is still flat on the wall. You can see the edges of the print. That's where it would get wrapped on the surface. And um, you can see that the surface is almost completely covered, but you can still see that it's a print. And you can see that it's basically a surface on the wall here. But again, it's a kind of overpainted print. And here's an image of a similar print that hasn't been painted yet, so you can get a sense of, it's basically a scan of a chair cover that I've then collaged with some older paintings as well as some patterns I've generated. Just the back of this has been painted. And you can see it's almost ready to paint. It's a kind of collage process. And you can see some drawing in there as well, as well as I've scanned the surface of some actual textiles. And some of the newest work that I'm doing is a kind of hybrid drawing, wallpaper, and stitching. This piece I just completed, you can see it's kind of falling off of its packing. It has a hand-drawn components with kind of over-painted wallpaper and over-painted patterns. And I'm really into the kind of surface modulation here as well as the kind of simplicity of the silhouettes of the drawings um, and I'm kind of interested to see what happens as I continue to play with the different imagery and again all kind of coming back to kind of questions of still life and opulence and excess and um, beauty. I like to make images of my studio and this is an early image of that in gouache. Um, a lot of what I do is re-image my own imagery. So here you've got on the left a portrait that shows up again over here on the right, um, as well as imagery that kind of repeats itself throughout the studio from color charts to postcards. Um, and I'm really trying to kind of investigate the re-imaging of images in multiple different ways. So I'm constantly recurating walls in my own studio to make images. Um, 
and you'll find many of my projects involve a kind of interest and homage to other people's images as with the flower paintings. So this wall is a kind of devoted space for curating images to be repainted. And this is my most recent drawing, which has been printed, which is the new thing in my studio. And I've just started adding a little bit of color to it, but you can see there's my dog and there's my painting of my old studio <laughs> and uh, kind of very faithfully um, as it was set up maybe uh, a couple months ago. Um, and a lot of these are my own paintings. Some of them are my friend's paintings. Some of them are objects that I really admire and enjoy. Um, there's a kind of devotional aspect to repainting things. But um, part of what the digital has allowed me to do is get very kind of exact in my um, repainting of things. Although this was fairly exact, um, something about the paper and gouache method still left something to be desired as I scaled up. So we have this now. Thanks for stopping by the studio. Um, if you want to find out more about me and my work, um, you can go to kirstenlam.squarespace.com and uh, check out my uh, art or uh, find me and email me. Um, and also please go see the show at Concord Art Association. It was really a joy to curate.